Glad to have you here at the 3M Auto Fair at the Michigan International Speedway. Hi, nice little round. It's a great day, boy. What a what a wonderful weather weekend sure. we're going to have. My name is Doug Rice. I am the uh, anchor of the Performance Racing Network, and also work with uh, NASCAR Hot Pass on Direct TV. And it's my pleasure for the third year in a row to introduce Courtney Hanson. Courtney, nice to have you back this year. Thanks, Doug. Good to be here. Hi, everybody. Of course, now Courtney uh, hosts Power Block on Spike TV. You may have seen her there. She's also on Destination Wild. Where do they see that? Fox Sports Net. Okay, so and that's cool. You do all sorts of neat things. Yeah, it's a travel adventure series. We go all over the U.S. and visit cool places from Savannah, Georgia to Breckenridge, Colorado and do adventure sports with Olympic athletes and then I show you what to do in each place we visit. Non-automotive stuff. So. <laughs> and you're debuting a new show tomorrow on Spike TV, is that right? Yeah, it's called Great Builds and it's going to air prior to Power Block. Um, the premiere episode is tomorrow at 10 a.m. So I think we'll all be missing it. We'll all be here. But um, basically we cover the best car and truck builds that we've done on Power Block over the last 20 years. We do a whole build from front to back in one episode. I interview the builders of that car. Tomorrow's is a 55 Chevy shoebox that the Horsepower team did. And then we bring on a celebrity guest car builder, such as Chip Foose. Um, this one in the premiere episode is Bobby Alloway. So check it out. And she's cool got show. one other item. You've got your own clothing line coming out here very soon. Um, yeah, I have a clothing line called Auto Angel. And in the next couple weeks, I'm launching the, the women's t-shirts, which are vintage looking. And they're positive, inspirational sayings in the automotive vernacular, such as, stick to your goals. with like a stick shift. They're pretty cool. Fun. And, that come, and if you want to find out more, just go to CourtneyHanson.com and she actually walks out on the screen and talks to you. So that's pretty cool. Alright, we've got a great lineup throughout the weekend here at the 3M Auto Fair. And let's go ahead and get started. Let's bring up one of NASCAR's most popular drivers and he is the proud driver of the Napa Toyota, number 55, Michael Waltra. Hey, Michael. How are you? Great to see you. Thank you very much. Nice weekend to spend in the Irish Hills, isn't it? Yeah, when I got off the plane, uh, we flew up yesterday morning, and uh, when I got here, I couldn't believe the difference. And in... oh, that's real sweet. <laughs> Couldn't believe the difference in in, um, in the weather. So uh, it's a blessing to be here this weekend. Looking forward to the race tomorrow. And you've had some good news lately. You've got your sponsor situation all squared away for next year. Well, the the starting lineup, if when you look at the 43 cars that will be racing tomorrow, roughly uh, a third of them aren't sure where their sponsorship is going to come from next year. And as you all well know, in order to race a car, you have to have something on the side of it to pay the bills. And uh, <laughs> Napa has agreed to sponsor the number 55 uh, Napa Toyota again in 2009, which nice. is a big deal for me. And then Aaron's is right along us. Uh, Aaron's will be following suit here in a week or so and letting everybody know what their plans are. So they've been the two mainstays for me over the last seven or eight years, and they've agreed to come back along with Toyota, Best Western, Freightliner, Coca-Cola. We do have a good sponsor lineup. It gives us the ability to continue to build our new team. You know, we're starting off... Uh, started off from scratch and have to try to race guys that have been doing it for 25 or 30 years and it's been a real challenge but uh we're making a little progress we feel you're busy how is it being a driver and a team owner you have a lot on your plate well um it's fun i don't i don't really notice the difference in the two when, when i'm at the racetrack i'm the driver uh, in order to be i think successful as in anything you have to be all in and uh so i know i know what spindles we got on our cars i know what we've done in the wind tunnel. I know what kind of testing we've been doing. So it just adds to my race car driving, having my uh, hands in all the ownership side of it as well. I have really smart people that run the business of it, so I don't really have to do that. They just told me the other day, if we don't get a sponsor, we can't pay the bills. So I said, well, we better get one of those. You locked them in. So we, uh, we were real fortunate that Napa decided to come back and, and uh, looking forward to, to working out uh, the sponsorship on the third car as well. And you got two really outstanding young drivers in your stable with Michael McDowell and David Rudman. Talk a moment about those guys. And, in addition, Josh Weiss. Josh is going to race... Uh, he he'll be racing today in the in the nationwide series. He's a young man from California that um, Tony Stewart hired to drive his his uh, open wheel dirt car stuff and won a couple championships and now has progressed to uh, to nationwide. We have him under contract for 2009 as well and he uh, finished fifth up at ORP a couple weeks ago and he's got a lot of talent. So um, all three of those guys are really fun to be around. David Rudiman, uh, his family. 
his grandfather raced and, and he went to the races with his grandfather, his father, their family, sort of like I said, all in. Their family has been all about racing ever since David's been on this earth. And so uh, he has a real, real uh, sense of appreciation about where he's at today. You know, uh, he is a dirt track racer that, that got a chance and, uh, and made it to, to NASCAR Cup. He's starting in the top ten tomorrow in the UPS Toyota. Right. He's a really good dude, and he should have a good day tomorrow. Now, I heard you have a really cool shop outside of Charlotte. Tell us about it. Yeah, our shop's fun. All the fans that have come there really enjoyed it. It's an interactive race shop where you walk in and you see more than just a, a display uh, area. You get to go in and actually watch the guys build the cars and, and see the fabrication area and go to gears and transmissions and shocks and just touch and feel everything at the, that it takes to, to build one of these race cars. So, um, so far, 100% positive feedback from everybody that's been there, and that's a good feeling. And we can all go. Like, it's, it's open to the public. Yeah, we have two areas. You come in, you can walk around one area for free. You buy a ticket and go upstairs and take the whole tour. Uh, the ticket sale um, portion of, of, the, uh, of the visit, you get to see the most stuff, obviously. But um, as time goes forward, we'll probably wind up changing where we don't charge for anybody to see anything. And then we, uh, we, we try to pay our overhead with special events, big outings for, for groups to come. If you want to have a wedding at our shop, Come on, we've already. Nice, there's an idea. We've had a we've had a, a wedding. Uh, unfortunately, we had a had had a memorial service for a funeral. We've had everything you could imagine uh, gather there, and and like I said, the thing that I'm most proud of is so far. People just love it. They've never seen anything like it, and they love it. But, Michael, it's almost a misnomer to call it a shop. I mean, you think shop, you think one little building. These things look more like airplane factories now almost. Yeah, I don't I don't know what you call it. Uh, some of the guys call it a factory. Some people call it a shop. Some people call it the, 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 the entertainment center. So <laughs> there's always good entertainment going on. When you have 250 employees working on race cars, you're going to get some good stuff, I promise. Where's it located exactly? You, um, it's right off Interstate 77 at exit 28 Cornelius. So it's about 15 miles north of Charlotte and very, very much uh, accessible right from the interstate. It has interstate visibility, and you can get to it real easy. Nice. These fans are going to be watching a lot of racing about a quarter mile from here this weekend. Tell them a little bit about this place, about Michigan, about uh, getting around it. This is probably the race car drivers, you know, it's, it's, it's in everyone's top ten, I know. It's probably in everyone's top five, just because of the way it races. You know, they, uh, the groove is, is anywhere. You, you, you see guys qualifying right on the bottom. You see them qualifying in the middle. They'll be racing high right out next to the fence t tomorrow. So, you know, it's funny. Um, a lot of times, as a, as a race car driver, you'll hear, well, I just didn't quite hit my line. And you'll, you hear that a lot at Indy. You have to, it's very line sensitive. You've got to get right in the tracks of, uh, of where you're supposed to be. You won't be missing a line here at Michigan because the line is everywhere. If you come out going the other way off turn two, you didn't miss your line because uh, you can race anywhere. And that's what people love about this track. What's your daily driver? Uh, I like to drive... Uh, I've never really been a whole lot into the cars that I drive uh, on the road because people are like, you know, I get to race. My car, that car over there goes really fast. You can't beat <laughs> so that, right? Not really, into, not really into hot rods. Um, my dad, he picked out a 1973 Cadillac Eldorado that, uh, that I've just about got done, finished restoring. I will drive it a lot because it's it's the kind of car I like to just roll around in. I got my first uh, my first car that that uh, my first luxury car really the other day. I got a Lexus from um, from Toyota, and uh, so right now I'm pretty happy with that thing because it it's got a lot of buttons that I don't know what happens what, <laughs> when you push them. I ain't figured them all out yet, so it doesn't matter where I go. I've got a lot to do. I start I start pushing buttons and looking around <laughs> to see what's going to happen. Uh, it's a hybrid, and oh, uh, nice. and I'm able to. I'm getting like 25 miles to the gallon. Plus, it must hold about 50 gallons because I I think I've gone 479 miles so far and hadn't got to get gas yet. Nice. So it's just it's just a really good car. It's a really cool car. It's very quiet. You can sneak up on people, and um, I, I like driving it and my Cadillac.